Pay, I'm very excited to show you the new page builder that went live in the platform last week. It's had a full rewrite, making it a lot more reliable. We've put a shiny new design and interface on top of it, and we've added a few new features in there as well. I'm just going to quickly show you through what we've got. So this is a result page, actually. Result pages and landing pages and PDFs work in, in the same way. Now if I click on any section, the menu bar comes out on the right here if your screen's wide enough and all of the settings are collapsed away so you're just looking at the most important thing that you need at a time. This just makes navigation a, a lot easier so you can see where you are over on the left hand side here and edit your content over the, on the right hand side. One of the cool things is when you select an individual sub item within a section, you can see here that I've clicked on lead generation and it's just the lead generation that I'm seeing over here on the right hand side. So it's nice and easy to edit these sections. And when you enable dynamic content, again, you've just got each of the tiers that you can edit as you go here on the right hand side. So again, just make it nice and easy to, to navigate your way around. We've got the ability to clone entire sections now. So that'll clone any of your content that you've written within that section. Deleting is nice and easy here. You can also click one of these plus buttons here and add a new section right where you want it. So uh, you don't have to mess about going around and, and figuring out where you want to put it. But should you want to move things around again, that's nice and easy as well. And the last things I'll show you is now I've got the ability to hide categories. So if you've got a quiz that scores people against multiple things, then you'll have categories like this listed out. And let's say, for example, you're scoring someone against something which is useful to you, but you don't particularly want to show them it, then you can hide that. It's also really useful if you've tried building out a PDF on the platform, you might only be able to fit three or four categories on one page, so you can hide the others, then you can add another page and add the rest of the other page and, and hide what's on the first page. And you can even do it with the charts as well. If we've hidden the sales, section there we can just take sales off of the chart as well i hope you like it and look forward to getting your feedback cheers